I'm Dr. Cooper Williams. I'm here at the Jekyll Center in Thompson Station, Tennessee, and I'm here to present the pelvic ultrasound of the horse, both inside and out. I want to review three ultrasound guided injection points as part of our pelvic review. On our patient here, you can see outlined with tape, the cranial portion here is going to be for the lumbosacral intertransverse joint, and our needle would be positioned like this. That distance from the median plane and that angle roughly. We would have to match that angle with our ultrasound image, but this is roughly going to be that angle. The true sacroiliac injection point is caudally here. It's going to be close to the midline and you would be coming like this. And then the ultrasound guided hip injection is roughly going to be about here. And again, after ultrasound imaging, you're going to maybe be shifting that, but this is roughly what it looks like on the patient here. Then transferring over to our specimen, the hip joint is here, and you're going to be passing your needle down to the hip joint in the, roughly this aspect. And then the sacroiliac joint will be approached directly from here. And what I want you all to see is by tunneling down your vision through the sacrum, it looks like a J shape here. This is the, the cranial or the dorsal aspect here, the lateral aspect here, and this lateral aspect is the insertion point for the dorsal sacroiliac ligament, the membranous portion. And that comes down from the apex to the lateral aspect, and your needle has to get outside of that, or it will just be an intramuscular injection into the sacrocaudalis muscle, which is what lines the sacrum here. So you will image the caudal aspect of the ilium, and you'll look at where it meets the sacrum, and your needle will pass directly down here, and again, that correlates to our patient over here. Going back to the injection point for the intertransverse joint, I'm going to reverse our pelvis. And you can see underneath the wing of the ilium, your needle is going to pass in that same angle that I showed on our patient to be able to get right down to this joint right here. You don't want to go parallel to the ilium with your injection. That's this dorsal portion of the sacral wing is actually where they have the dorsal interosseous sacroiliac ligament. It's very dense, and you don't want to just do a ligamentous injection. You want to pass down about 10, 15 degrees to the intertransverse joint. And again, looking at our, our patient over here, that's going to be roughly this distance from the midline and at this angle to get to that joint. So initially, we looked at the external landmarks for ultrasound guided injections. And I want to show the ultrasound guided injection landmarks, the sonographic landmarks on the screen here. So here you see the curved image of the caudal aspect of the ilium wing here. And what I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to rock my transducer like this. I'm not going to slide it and move it in any other way. But as I rock it, you can see you're getting this ilium to walk virtually across the screen here. And that J shape of the sacrum shows up here. And if you look over here, here's the J shape of the sacrum. And remember that dorsal membranous portion of the sacroiliac ligament uh, comes down from the apex here to the lateral shelf. As we move down, you can see that little thin line. That's that membranous portion of the dorsal sacroiliac ligament. And as I continue moving the ilium virtually across the screen, what we do is we get to where we have the sacroiliac joint. The ilium is here. The sacrum is here in this little reverse J, and you have the little membranous portion of the dorsal sacroiliac ligament that you have to get your needle outside of. Your needle will be directed down to this point right here. And one thing to note is if you go too far and separate the ilium from the sacrum, all of a sudden the rectum shows up here. That's what these reflections, these moving reflections are down in here. And that would correspond to moving here with your transducer and looking in this notch, the greater ischiatic notch. And so you have this image here where ilium and sacrum are parallel, and that's right here. And then if you go too far, again, you're able to see rectum. So whenever you do that injection, you have to keep the ilium and sacrum parallel like that. The other thing that I'd like to show from the side, and I need to douse again with alcohol, we'll unfreeze our image, is the sac you can actually evaluate the side of the sacrum, and we'll do that really quickly. 
So you move off of that injection landmark and you have, so there's ilium again, there's the sacroiliac region. And so this whole side of the sacrum, you can actually evaluate that as you move back. Let me turn our gain way up and you can see the side of the sacrum. If I tilt my probe down, you can evaluate this whole area of bone. And this area is the sacrocaudalis muscle within this confine of that membranous portion of the dorsal sacroiliac ligament as you move all the way back along the sacrum. And we'll just slide that on back, looking at the entire sacrum and the sacrocaudalis muscle. And now you're off of it. So that's your full eval evaluation of external and transrectal ultrasound of the pelvis in the horse. Slide number one shows ultrasound images demonstrating the guided needle into the coxofemoral joint and then the appearance of the joint post-injection. Slide number two shows the lumbosacral intertransverse joint injection showing the direction of the needle and then on the ultrasound image the needle placement as it goes underneath the cranial rim of the ilium wing. Slide number three shows the needle placement for the sacroiliac joint injection at the caudal aspect of the ilium wing where it meets the sacrum. Again, you can see ultrasound images that demonstrate the needle placement right at the sacroiliac joint. You can see the sacrum, which is a reverse J shape on the left-hand side of the images. And as it sweeps up, there's an attachment point for the membranous portion of the dorsal sacroiliac ligament. The needle must go outside of this particular attachment for it to be a true sacroiliac joint injection. And you want the ilium wing to be relatively parallel with that joint. You can see in the left-hand side the material deposited post-injection with the needle track still visible. This final slide of the dorsal aspect of the sacrum shows the anatomical specimens and the appearance of the lateral aspect of each portion of the sacrum and then the ultrasound appearances. The normal reference is at the very top with the labels of the anatomy. You can see the lateral membranous dorsal sacroiliac ligament attaching to the lateral aspect of each portion of the sacrum and within this the sacrocaudalis muscles. You can see pathology of the lateral aspect of the sacrum on several of these images demonstrating bone and muscle disruption and fractures.